Last time we left off, we just used the Pythagorean theorem to find this side uh, AC using the Pythagorean theorem backwards. Now we have to find the measure of angle CBA, which is basically angle B in this right triangle. If it's a right triangle, um, then it's a matter of just picking out a sine, cosine, or tangent ratio. So let's label our sides here. From our angle, this is our adjacent side because it's touching it, and the 188.88 is the hypotenuse that's crossing the right angle. So A and H is the cosine ratio. Cosine of angle B equals adjacent side 108.81 over the hypotenuse 188.88. Pretend there's a decimal there. Okay, there we go. So um, that gives me the cosine of B, but I want B. So to find B, I find the inverse cosine of that. Inverse cosine of that whole fraction. 108.81. Let's see if I remember my decimal point this time. Yep, I sure did. Okay. Now, uh, I wouldn't be writing all of this down if I were actually taking this test, and, and probably you shouldn't either. Um, it's just that when you see the picture, Maybe I look at it, I recognize I have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, I know that I have to use cosine or the inverse cosine to find it. If you're the type of person who needs to write that down in order to see what you're supposed to do, then that's perfectly okay. But you're going to be losing some time, just saying. So let's pull up our calculator here and type this in. Clear, 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 second. Okay. Why do you keep second? Me? Oh, well, it doesn't matter because I need it anyway. So inverse cosine of 108.81 divided by 188.88 close the parentheses for good measure so I get 54.82 degrees and now if I were to write that in this blank right here even though I did this calculation correctly I just missed the question if I look in the box, it says angle measurements need to be measured in degrees, minutes, seconds, rounded to the nearest second. Degrees, minutes, seconds, let me explain a little bit here. So if I take myself a full circle, it's a pretty good circle. Of course, we know that to have 360 degrees of rotation. Now, for some people, one of those degrees, let's say this is that one degree there, one degree is just way too big. So what they do is they break that up into 60 parts, and those parts, each one is called a minute. It looks like 60 feet, but it's written 60, or said 60 minutes. Now, let's say I have one of those teensy, teensy, teensy little minutes, one minute. They break that up further into 60 seconds, and that has two little apostrophes, looks like inches, okay? So our calculator can do that uh, conversion for us in a matter of seconds. And it goes like this. Um, I go to the angle measurement, uh, angle measure, angle menu. It's number four here. It says arrow DMS. That means it's going to convert it into degrees, minutes, and seconds for me. Now I don't write down this whole thing. It says that I have to round this to the nearest second which is this 28 business. The 9 behind the decimal tells us that we have to round that 8 up to a 9. So I'm going to write 54 degrees, 49 minutes, and 29 seconds. 54 degrees, 49 minutes, and 29 seconds. And that concludes the first problem. Remember, it's always the same. Right triangle, you'd have to use the Pythagorean theorem to find this, working it backwards so you have to uh, subtract, and then you're going to use the inverse cosine, always inverse cosine, to find this missing angle um, in your calculator. Make sure that you write your angle measurement in DMS, rounding to the nearest second.